Now, a double-decker bus carrying school children crashed into a shop in East London during this morning's rush hour. London Ambulance says three children and two adults were taken to hospital. From Hyams Park, Bhavani Vadi sent this report. It was rush hour, people heading to work, children going to school, when the 212 bus crashed into an appliance shop in Hyams Park. This CCTV footage from the corner cafe opposite shows the bus narrowly missing a pedestrian moments before the crash. Eric Carrip, the cafe owner, was one of the first on the scene to help those who were injured. I've heard a big bang, so we just went outside with my stuff and the bus, as you see, hit there. So I quickly ran over there. They said, come out, because they were, they were panicking and shouting. Even the mums were scared, adults. So I tried to help them get out. I just quickly went to the bus driver, if he's OK. And I said, do you need any help? He said, I'm OK, but I just can't uh, get out because I'm squashed here. This bus crashed into a building right next to your workplace. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, strange. Even looking at it now, it's quite uh, scary, really, to just think about it. If it happened a couple of, well, even an hour later, we would have been in the office. So, yeah, it was quite lucky in that sense. As we got into Hunts Park, it, well, it was just like pandemonium. It was mental. There was, like, so many first responders, ambulance, police, obviously people gathered round, people, like, watching, people helping. And then, yeah, as we turned the corner, we just saw the bus in the shop. Some of the bus passengers were students from the nearby Higham Park School. A statement on the school website said those who witnessed the accident are getting emotional support. One eyewitness described how a teenager had to jump out of the way as the bus drove straight through a zebra crossing without stopping, then careered through the central reservation and crashed into that shop behind me. 19 people were treated at the scene, three children and two adults were then taken to hospital. An investigation into what happened is underway. Bhavani Vadi, BBC London.